Hi everyone, I'm Greg Smokler uh, from Creative Solutions. Uh, Creative Solutions is a team of product brands that make tools for content creation and film production. Wooden Camera, Teradek, and Small HD. And uh, I would love to talk about this new life that we're living in and the remote production, remote monitoring tools that we are rolling out and uh, supporting at Teradek. So uh, for a long time, Teradek has been making Video Village tools and, and I think a lot of people are familiar with them. Um, we make the Teradek Bolt, which is a zero delay wireless point to point video system that you see on nearly every camera setup, which is really great for when sets are uh, in their normal functioning state. But right now with all kinds of crazy remote production going on. We've had a total huge spike in interest for our IP video um, remote monitoring products. And so I'd love to just tell you a little bit about that right now. Um, the, um, so we think of a video village as a bunch of the creative team all hovered around some monitors on a set that's connected to the camera with a wireless video system. But in the world of COVID, um, this kind of an idea is changing. Um, you know, right now people are doing crazy jobs where they drop a camera off or FedEx a camera to a talent. The talent sets it up and streams that video feed over the internet. And Teradek has a bunch of technologies that, that are being uh, applied to this now. Um, in the past, our streaming video stuff was, was used more by people that are sharing video. So people that are transmitting a concert live or a news event that's being recorded on the street and being um, connected over a cell network into a cloud and streamed over a news channel or someone live streaming at home or you know a sporting event that's being aired by a broadcaster using our stuff to transmit video through networks and through the internet over IP. But what's great about our products is that um, this same need to send video not over a cable or over a bolt, but through the internet to Video Village. Um, and uh, it is something that we can totally do with our remote monitoring platforms. So what is remote monitoring for us? Um, we make a box that you plug video into. Um, it's a, called a cube, and you can plug it directly into the internet and get video out of it in a bunch of really convenient ways. Um, we have a really great cloud management platform where you can manage your streams. So you can have multiple productions going and manage where all of those camera feeds are headed through Core. Uh, Core is our you know, proprietary, um, totally encrypted stream management system. Out of Core, you can send streams to an iPad, an iOS device, Android device, a browser, or you can send it to another hardware box that you can plug into a monitor um, and, and a bunch of other things. But the point is that um, using Cube, uh, the Teradek Cube, and using Core, you can really create a distributed video village where all of the creative team and, and, the, and the production team and the clients can view a super low latency, high quality video stream um, from your originating from your camera. And, uh, you know, as we move closer, as we move back towards, you know, actual film sets reopening, even when they're reopened, you know, less people will be able to be on set at the same time. Less people will be able to be on the crew physically in one place. So I think that, you know, what we're learning from these crazy remote productions where, where the entire crew is literally in other states will still be able to be applied. Um, we'll need connectivity through the internet to people viewing at home and being able to collaborate with the production team. But we also have other devices that will be really relevant once more people start assembling on a crew. Um, and that's, you know, kind of focused around the Teradek Serve Pro product line. Um, so for really critical monitoring where you need zero delay, uncompressed video, the Teradek Bolt um, 4K is really the ultimate solution. And it's great because you can use it up to six receivers. So you can have six different monitors with six different people viewing a zero delay feed. 
But now that nobody will be able to really cluster around a video, video village, the Serve Pro is a really good option because you can send to up to 10 devices, uh, iOS or Android devices over Wi-Fi and get a pretty great video signal um, just using a Wi-Fi network. So the people that don't absolutely need a critical monitoring feed can can all log on to a Wi-Fi and uh, view over um, the Teradek viewer app. So the whole um, that's the whole kind of mobile monitoring um, solution that we have. And, um, and so like, those are the three ways that I think Video Village is going, is going to be um, deployed moving forward. You know, more Video Villages with less people at each one, or maybe even one. Uh, more devices being connected, watching the camera feeds, where before everyone could cluster them on one monitor. Now, props, hair, makeup, you know, dimmer operator, anybody that kind of needs to see a video feed is going to, you know, want to have a wireless video feed and that they can add their mobile devices or, or computer browser viewing um, applications to see that um, serve pro feed. And then we'll connect people in a remote way to, to core and, and send them our feeds that way. So if you want to check out more, you know, go to teradeck.com. Um, and there's a bunch of stuff on there about remote monitoring. We're also going to be launching some cool, um, educational videos and, um, workflow videos about how to use our various devices to get video through the internet into remote video villages. And one more thing that I think is a really cool um, bit of news to announce is that for people that have been using the Serve Pro for years for iOS and Android monitoring, we're about to unlock a new capability for this um, Serve Pro transmitter. Um, starting this week or next week, we're going to unlock Core capabilities for Serve Pro. What this means is you'll be able to connect your Serve Pro encoder to a Teradek Core account and send that stream to all these multiple types of destination, iOS device, Android device, uh, browser, Mac OS desktop application for the viewer app, and as well as um, Teradek decoder boxes. And um, I think this is really useful since there's so many people out there that have been using Serve Pro and really liking it for onset distribution of video signals. Now they can just use a box that they already have and connect it through the cloud to remote monitoring. So keep an eye out for that. It should be coming soon. And uh, we'd love to hear your feedback on, uh, on how that's working for people. So that's pretty much the, the full scene for getting back to work with remote monitoring, virtual video village, um, and Teradek streaming devices. Uh, so that was a pretty rapid rundown of all the kind of basic Teradek remote monitoring solutions. For more information, please just go to Teradek.com. We have a ton of info, videos, walkthroughs of workflows and we'll be posting new updates there uh, all the time. So, teradek.com.